Ok, hi everyone. Today we're going to look at some simple code that will post temperature data from an Arduino um, to thingspeak.com. Um, so we're going to talk about two parts today. We're going to do the, the Arduino firmware which is based on the Thermistor 2 example which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then we're going to write a simple Python script that will post the data to Thingspeak. Um, we're not going to use the Ethernet shield for, for this tutorial, we want to keep this as, as simple as possible. So, let's get started. The code that runs on the Arduino I'm just using from the Thermistor 2 example, which you can find on the Arduino Playground. Um, there's a simple schematic here, um, and some simple code which I basically just copied. Um, the only difference being I'm using analog pin 3 um, so the only difference in my program is there um, so there is just my example um, I haven't even updated the comments um, so I'm just going to prove that that compiles um, then we're going to upload that to the board And then let's have a look at it. So at the moment we're just printing the temperature data uh, um, on a new line each time. So we're just going to write a simple Python script which will read each line um, and then post that data to Thingspeak. So here is the Python code to do that. So I'm using Pi Serial, um, which you can get from SourceForge, is the Pi Serial website. So there's some pretty good uh, documentation here for how you how you sort of open serial ports uh, and read lines and that sort of thing. So we we start off just by opening um, opening the serial port. You can obviously get this from the, Ar the Arduino GUI. We then set the board rate that we've we've specified in our Arduino program in our sketch, and then all we're basically going to do is read a byte at a time. Uh, if that if the byte that we read is a new line, we're going to print uh, the string that we we've, we've been storing. Open new HTTP connection with the, th the ThingSpeak uh, IP address. We're going to make a request. The type of the request we're going to make is a GET um, and then it's update question mark key and then you'll need to enter your API key here. Um, I kept mine fit hidden. Um, then AND field 1 equals and then we're just going to uh, put in there uh, whatever we've got from temp. Uh, print the response, uh, the status and the reason, and then close. Um, so that's what happens if we find a new line. If we don't, we're just going to take our um, our string, uh, which is temp, starts off as being blank. We're just going to append each character as we go, um, which will just build up our, our string a byte at a time. Um, and obviously if we get the new line after we've posted the temp, uh, we're then going to set it back to the empty string. Um, so, oh, wrong one. I'll just show you that running now. So, you'll notice that this is the one without the API key. Um, I'm going to use one which is going to be, which has my um, my API key built in. So we're just going to run that. And you can see it grabs each line that we're printing on serial. Uh, it's printing a response 200. Um, and that's my temperature data being uploaded to ThingSpeak. Uh, 